Um, look at this list of headlines here on Drudge. I just checked the Drudge page during the break because this this story here from Arnold Allert, this has really got me going. What happened to the third shooter? And then the New York detective, the former NYPD detective Harry Houck, openly wondering why in the world the FBI cleared the crime scene out there, the, the loving couple's home, for the media to go trampling through two days after. Why didn't they preserve that crime scene? And the, and the detective said, even when the media is going through there, I didn't see any evidence of fingerprint dust or, or I saw shredded documents laying around and so forth. Uh, so Mr. Allert concludes his piece, something stinks here. Given the track record of Islamic terror denialism embraced by the regime, along with innumerable examples of media malfeasance protecting Obama, the unmistakable odor of a cover-up or an orchestrated disinformation campaign hangs heavy in the air. Arnold Allert thinks that we are being really led down the wrong path. That, And I'll tell you, I uh, that night when we're all watching the media and everybody knows the name Saeed Farouk and, and the media won't say it because it's a delicate situation. Oh, yes. It was a very, very delicate situation. Uh, we, we, I even heard some media people say we can't risk riots in America uh, with the release of the name because it's so soon after the events in Paris. We've got to be very, very careful. We have to be very, very delicate. You wouldn't believe the number of media people using that term delicate. We've got to be very delicate here. It's a delicate situation. We've got to be very delicate about how we release the name and so forth. And third shooter. And, and now we're learning, folks, essentially, that's the point of the Drudge headline. This was a cell out there. This was not, you know, an oddball terrorist couple. This was a cell. They had a lot of people gathering ammunition, working on planning, uh, driving other people around. It, it, it's not what we've been told it is. It was not a couple radicalized who met on a dating site. The, the active theory now is that it was an arranged marriage by terror masters. And that they had, after the arranged marriage, a mission. And the San Bernardino attack was the mission. And it may have been more. We don't know. Third shooter. Who, what, when, where, why. Is there one? Was there one? Two witnesses said they saw one. The media reported third shooter, but nobody's had any interest in tracking a shooter down. 